Okay, time to harvest some worm castings. After that, I have some meat paper, uh, some pots to put the casting in. Uh, just to take the casting out of the bin, I might just use my hands though, it's a lot more delicate. And some sticks to hold the newspaper down. So I'm just mount this camera. Okay, this is the arrangement I uh, find works well. I have one piece of newspaper right here, that's for hiding the worms under. Um, let's see how I use that in a minute. Um, and then this is the paper we're going to put the castings and the pot right here and some sticks to hold the ring down. So let me just go grab some worm castings here. So we'll find a good area to start. Here is a little bit thick, so I'm going to thin this area out. So I'll just reach in and grab a handful there. All kinds of worms. That right here. Now what will happen, you can, I don't know if you can see, there are worms there. Those worms will dig down into the bottom of the castings. Um, but what I'll do, because worms don't like sunlight, I will pull them over here. Give them some castings to hide under. Some good vegetative matter here. Let's put the worms aside here, they hate sunlight. And as I dig down, they're going to be exposed. So that's what this other newspaper is for, is to hide the sunlight from them, protect them from the sunlight. Give them a little bit of hiding place until I put them back in the bin. And as I pick out castings, I just make sure there's no uh, worm cocoons in it. And I put them in my pot. No worms, no worms, cocoons, no food, nothing I don't want in my pot. And just keep doing that. And as I find more worms, I just move them underneath the newspaper. I'll put them back in the bin in a few minutes. And that's how you do it. Or that's how I do it at least. Seems to be okay. A few minutes later, and that's all that's left there. <laughs> and if you look underneath my pile here, you can see there's a whole bunch of little worms, but the, the, the leftover castings, uh, the worms are all hiding in there. So I make sure I still leave some castings there. The worms to hide under. Plus, you can see all kinds of little critters in there, all kinds of other little things that eat my food. Now, here's what I've got. That tape. Quite a bit. About an inch in there, ain't you? One thing I noticed I inadvertently did is I left the uh, cover up on my worm bin while I was harvesting those castings, which meant that all the worms that are at the top here would have gone down um, to get away from the sun. Uh, which means that I should have a fairly, well, moderately worm-free top layer here, which I can grab and uh, and harvest. Okay, about a half hour later, I have this container full with my next year planting in my garden. And there's my waste pile. And what I've learned is that my worm bin right now is about 50% worms. <laughs> there you go, a whole bunch of them right. Let's see if I, uh, hey, I'll put them back in the bin. And I'll do some more in a few more days.